My papa would be very disappointed in me if he saw how much I was using this tuner when I first started playing banjo. It's all because of him. He used to play for the Viney Mountain Bluegrass Boys, and he was a fiddle player, but he also played a little bit of banjo. And one day when me and my twin brother were running through the house, I remember my mom just in the middle of the kitchen turning and looking at us for no real apparent reason and asking if we wanted to play, take banjo lessons. We're like, yeah, sure. And the next thing I knew, we were taking banjo lessons every Tuesday with Pam Lund. <laughs> and it was a blast, except for after basketball practice and you were tired and sweaty and you had to go anyway. But uh, Papa always played for us at Christmas, but just for the kids, he wouldn't ever play in front of the parents. So he'd always sneak us back into the back bedroom and just get the kids around. He'd get the fiddle out and he'd pluck a little on it and get the banjo out and we'd pluck a little on that. And he'd put them all back away as soon as the first adult's face would pop in the room and that'd be the end of banjo and fiddle lessons with Papa. I also remember once I broke a banjo string and I was at home, I had no idea how to fix it. And he came over and he fixed it. And it, it, it broke way down in here where it couldn't, you, none of the factory wiring of the banjo string would work anymore. So we wired it together and hit it, did his hoodoo voodoo papaw work on it. And I showed back up for lessons and Pam took my banjo away from me. And she's like, who did that? <laughs> she knew I didn't do it. I told her papaw, she said, he did a good job. <laughs>